We are in the middle of transformation. Electrification, digitalization, connectivity, cloud computing and machine learning, they're all converging. Sensors are getting smaller, big data is getting bigger. Augmented reality and virtual reality are providing previously unattainable field of use. And all this is providing unprecedented opportunity to create value and increase the sustainability of the shipping. Maritime industry represents approximately 2.5% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. And that number is set to grow with an increase of the global trade. ABB is committed to reverse the trend to take that number down. We at ABB believe that the next generation of vessels will be electric, digital and connected. Electric because they are more efficient and sustainable and digital and connected because that will take the productivity and safety of the vessels to another level. Personally, I think that the Asibot propulsion system is one of the greatest innovations in maritime history. All big ships need something that moves them forward. Asibot propulsion system combines propeller driving the ship and electric motor driving the propeller and a rudder which is steering the ship. For the Asipod unit designs, the sustainability idea and thinking starts already from the design table, that we consider the materials we use, how much we use it, what kind of materials we are using. There are about 400 Asipod units in operation at the moment. Even though the Asipod propulsion system is mostly known from cruise ships and ice-going vessels, it has been installed into more than 20 different ship types. In my opinion, of course, one day I would like to see that Asipod propulsion system is equipped in all the vessels around the globe. The electric ships are currently representing about 10% of the world's fleet. And to make the maritime industry more sustainable, that number needs to grow. We at ABB are fully committed to reaching that goal. In fact, we just delivered two ships sailing between Sweden and Denmark on full electric power, and we were able to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions I think it's important uh, as a company to be modern. And to be modern is that you think about uh, the whole economy. And economy is also how much you pollute. Traditional ferries have been uh, fueled by bunker oil. But since 2015, in this area of the world, we have a low sulfur emission called 0.1. This vessel we're on today is from 1992. And the other one that we converted is from 1991. Uh, but they are state-of-the-art vessels when it comes to the technology. And, and that's what we're very proud of at 4C, is these vessels are designed in the end of the 80s, but still have, have the newest technology on board. We have the battery power of equivalent of uh, 60 Tesla cars. We charge on uh, the Swedish side uh, roughly nine minutes, and five and a half minutes on the Danish side. We have less noise, we have less vibration. But we also have another important thing, is that the people that are working in the company are very proud that we are first mover in the world with this new technology. Uh, ABB has already started to put batteries on vessels, uh, smaller ferries going from A to B, and we have also taken bigger vessels, um, like the four sea vessels going between Sweden and Denmark. Uh, where they run purely on, on batteries. Yeah, I think we will see a transition in both fuel and technology, so we're taking one step at a time. For larger vessels, we see a good potential to have a hybrid power plant. We can cut down on emissions, 
or we will probably also see these larger vessels powered by renewable power. It's a good potential to cut down on, on local emissions that affect people where they're living and, and local communities. And this technology with electric vessels and hybrid vessel is a technology that are available now and can address these issues now. I think in general sustainability is important for any industry. And of course ABB wants to be a big part of that with its electric digital connected vision. I think the industry is going through a big change right now. Being first mover, we can actually show other ship operators that there are possibilities to use the same tonnage as you have today and not going for new builds. The member states of the IMO, International Maritime Organization, pledged to reduce the greenhouse gases by 50% by 2050. And we at ABB are committed to that goal and to provide innovations and technology to make that possible.